Hi guys, this is Faith and Love Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video today. I am going to try to do two videos in one. So I have to make it quick. This DIY is going to be very quick and easy. I went ahead and um, started the process. I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these bowls that were plastic they're for disposable and there is eight in a container and I thought that was perfect because I want to be able to create eight small floral arrangements for my tablescape for Mother's Day. I've shared with you guys that I'm working on a tropical Hawaiian theme Mother's Day and so this tablescape will be perfect for breakfast or for brunch. So I want to create an individual centerpiece for each setting. So what I did, I found the containers, they're very, very flimsy actually, and but they will work. I went ahead, spray painted it gold, and I hauled some um, foam and I cut them in fours. I first cut it in half and then I cut that half into into two so now I have a quarter so I'm gonna go ahead add some glue to the bottom of the bowl lay my bowl down my foam down onto the bowl so that I have some stability for my floral my flowers here and these are hibiscus from the Dollar Tree. And I want to go ahead and stick the large one in. And then the small one. It's not rocket science. It's very simple, actually. I This is just going to be a very simple tablescape. Then I have some of the Dollar Tree moss. Well, they're like little grass. I'm going to go ahead and fill in around the bowl where there are empty spaces. So there is no opening there. I must mention before, because I'm sure you guys are looking at it. Before, um, just to cut down on time, I wanted to go ahead and add a little bling to this bowl. So the glue, even though it was hot, it's on medium, so it held very well because the bowl, like I mentioned, is very thin, but it worked. And if this was a centerpiece for a brunch or breakfast, this could be their little takeaway um, gift that you can have each of them take with them so I just think that's a cute little idea so each table setting will have this little floral and basically I made one taller than the other and I still left the leaves the greenery on it simple as that Cut those little pieces or trim them. You can trim them and then drop them back in. I've got a few of them here. I will go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with what I have left over and start on the next project. Okay guys, I'm going to put that to the side. Quick, easy, very, very simple. Got a little bit of the bling going on there. I've got them glued to the bowl. And that centerpiece is done. So, now, <clears throat> I went to Walmart and they have all these little um, frames. They are... 98 cents a piece 
and so I hauled those so that I could create a Mother's Day picture frame. And so the back comes with this little stick and I'm assuming you just tuck it in there and it sits like that. So what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead spray paint it because I do want to cover this. And well actually I don't. Let's not spray paint it because it's going to be very simple. We're going to add flowers to this. Okay, and so majority of that is going to be covered. So what you will need for this project, and I don't think I even walked you through on this project. On this project, you need those little bowls that the Dollar Tree have. They're eight in a pack, and then these hibiscus, which of course, I think there is eight, three, and two, five, five per stem. And then a little piece of um, the foam, and your grass. Actually, I don't need your pizza. So what we'll need for this project is a couple stems. I don't know how much stems this is going to take. So we're just doing it together and we'll figure it out. So that's one stem. Two stems. You'll need your glue gun your glue sticks, you may need scissors because they are fairly high so you want to trim that down. So I'm going to go ahead trim this up and then I'll come back and we can move on. I've trimmed them down and so I have my frame, my flowers, and I also, I'm thinking I want to incorporate a butterfly. So we'll see how that goes. Your glue gun, glue stick, scissors, and we'll see if we can add some diamond wrap. We'll possibly add some on the outside. So let's get started on this. Let's start here. Lay your glue down and add your flowers. Hold it in place. And I'm thinking, let's alternate. Alternate your colors. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and just outline the heart and then I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so I'm moving to the next step and I just wanted to bring you along so that you can see. I laid the glue down and I am slanting the flowers because I wanted to, um, because it's a heart. I want it to have somewhat of that heart shape so it's not just looking like a square a picture frame but it looks like a floral picture frame. So just hold it in place, need to add a little bit more glue to this. You do the same to the top as well. So here, I just need to hold it in place for a bit. Okay, so now I have a couple space that I need to fill in. I'm going to go ahead and lay the glue down on top of the board, go in between and lay your flowers down. Just like that. Just hold it 
hold it in place until it dries. Okay, we need to also fill in the other side. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so now that I've gotten the flowers on, I want to go ahead and add, I want to make sure it still have the heart shape somewhat. And I want to go ahead and add some diamond wrap onto the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we possibly need, let's see, two or three. I need to measure that. Let's see. Two. So we will need two strips of your diamond wrap. I'm going to try to use up all my little scraps I've got here. I'm going to take that all the way around and show you what that looks like. Lay your glue down, then add your diamond wrap. It's very simple. You guys have seen me do this lots of times. Right now I'm trying to utilize all my scraps of diamond wrap that I've got cut up everywhere. And it's going to look like that. So I'm trying to get them all together. Let's see if I can get that gap. Not space, and I'm going to wrap it all the way around and come back. Okay, guys, so here is the heart, and I want to add my butterfly, but I went ahead and changed the color because the color I noticed I thought it was pink, but it was a blend of orange and different colors and I didn't want that. I'm going to go ahead and put my butterfly and this is also from the Dollar Tree right on the side of that and also the diamond wrap. I took it all the way around onto the frame. Okay so let's go ahead and add our back on to picture frame and here we are guys I hope you like it if you do give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends I hope that these ideas are cute little DIYs that you can make for your friends for your aunt for your mom and just Share your love with them. Just say, hey, you know, I made this for specifically for you. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you on my next DIY tomorrow. All right, I love it. I hope you guys do too. See you soon.